2. There's still an exponent here, but do th are these exponents the same? No. No. What is the power of this quadratic function? Second power. Squared, right? Quadratic functions. are to the second power, meaning that is the highest power they have. Linear functions, I guess I should really say equations. Linear equations are to what power? First power. But what about an exponential? I'm sorry, but we got four minutes. Come on, let's go. What's special about an exponential equation? What's x? The exponent, right? Exponential equations. <laughs> have a variable in the exponent. Again, you have to know the differences between all of the equation. It's because I had to go to that meeting. <laughs> All right, the last representation we have to look at is a uh, graphical representation, right? So I do want to point this out. First off, do you have enough information here to know what the graph looks like? Nope, nope not even the slightest. You even got the lines. Do you have enough information here to know what the shape, the graph looks like? Yeah. I mean, I can see a pretty clear graph or shape. Please notice you need more data points and you need stuff on both sides um, pretty spread out to be able to see what it looks like. You can see it even more clearly here. The more data points you have, the better you can see the shape. Now, did we write an equation for this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If that equation is correct, our graph should go through all of these points, right? Mm -hmm. So let's check it. You put a type on them? Oh, you already did. So y equals negative x squared plus 50x. Does that work? Yeah. Okay, here's the notes you need to take on the quadratic graphs. It does not take long, you need this note, these notes. Quadratic graphs. The shape, whenever you see this graph shape, it is a parabola. And there's two ways that it can look. And you need both of these written down. Okay? The shape of a quadratic function is called a parabola. This right here, where it looks like a U facing up, this is known as concave up. My high school teacher used to tell me it's concave up like a cup. That's how we remembered it. This one that looks like upside down, any guesses? Concave down like a frown. That's actually exactly what we said. Concave down like a frown. Sort of good. That's actually exactly what we said. Now, please notice when it's concave down, you see how it both increases and then it decreases. decreases. That's why we get a maximum. When it's concave up, it is decreasing, then increasing. That's why we get a minimum. Here's your homework. I don't even know why you thought you would get away with that homework. It is just this. 6.1, go, numbers 11, 13, 14, and 18. Four problems just looking at the rate of change of a line.
which someone was really confused about this earlier. But guys, what is the rate of change of a line called? Y'all, rate of change of a line called a linear. I don't know. The rate of change of a line. It is additive, and it is called a slope. Right? Yes? Yeah, no? Yes, maybe so? It's something like it. Keep that in mind for this homework. The rate of change is a slope. Have a good weekend. How to do the holidays of what? I'm going to set an alarm to go get it today. Okay. I'm going to go get cookies this weekend. Okay, that's perfect then. I'm literally setting an alarm right now. Okay. Was it two boxes?